Welp, if you were at all excited for Samsung's upcoming foldable Galaxy X, Galaxy 10, Galaxy X10 thing, get your wallets out because uh, it's going to be money amount. A lot of money amount. Get daily tech news in a way that doesn't suck. Hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss the next episode. Ladies and gentlemen, hi, hello, welcome to Front Page Tech, of course, the show that gives you all latest tech news from one geek that's me to know that is you. How are you? My goodness, you look good today. Some might even say beautiful. Has no one told you that yet today? Well, uh, good news, you would look even better with one of these. That was terrible. <laughs> this is the last day to get your limited run Fuppata shirt. After today, these are totally gone. We don't ship them again. And good news, if you did order one and you haven't received it yet, they're back in stock. We will ship them out very, very soon. You will have them on your body and on your nipples very, very soon. If you haven't gotten yours, though, make sure you do. We're not, we're not printing them again. Once they're gone, they're gone. See what I did? I just, if the show has started out terrible, which isn't good news for the rest of the show, let's do it. Story numero uno is also about Sammy. Good old Samsung is working on a brand new product that we have not yet seen from them. A brand new one. Uh, drum roll, please. It's a Bixby smart speaker. This smart speaker is a bit different. According to the reports, it will have a camera, a mic, and a display. And it all makes sense. I mean, earlier this year, Samsung CEO did confirm that they would have a voice activated Bixby smart speaker that would be out before the end of the year. So yay about that. Wow, the anticipation is just overwhelming. The whole entire world is just clamoring for a Bixby smart speaker. That's exactly, exactly what everyone wants. Oh, f just, just, Jesus Christ, what? <sighs> oh. All right, let's talk about happy things, shall we? Uh, OnePlus. Now, even though I wasn't the biggest fan, I'm still not the biggest fan of how the OnePlus 6 looks. Uh, still, good news for OnePlus and OnePlus fans. People that like them? Okay. In an interview with Business Insider, the CEO of OnePlus let everybody know that they've sold 1 million units of the OnePlus 6 in just under a month. And by just under a month, we mean actually just like 22 days. For reference, the two previous phones from OnePlus took around like three months to reach that same milestone. Now, perspective is pretty important here. I mean, compared to people like Samsung or Apple, 1 million units is not that much. But it is a lot for a company like OnePlus that started out as a dinky old startup uh, a pretty good rags to riches story, if you ask me. Now, being somewhat of an early adopter to OnePlus products back in the day, I gotta be honest, this makes me feel oddly proud of them. So good job, OnePlus, you definitely deserve it. However, this is sort of bad news for people like me who absolutely hate the notch. No, none of these companies are suffering for implementing the notch. Obviously, they put a notch in the phone. I don't like how it looks, but still, People spoke with their wallets and it's the most successful OnePlus product they've ever, ever released. So uh, it doesn't matter what I say, we might hate the notch, but people don't really care, it turns out. Okay, so we've talked about this. We've talked about the Galaxy X foldable phone thing from Samsung. We've talked about it on and off on this show and now it's on again. It seems that now we have sort of a, a leak or more information in terms of what the price could be. And, uh, whew, <laughs> it's uh it's up there it's it's like a lot a lot of money okay so obviously if you've been paying attention you've been looking forward to the galaxy x you know what this is all about it's a phone that samsung is working on that is literally foldable now supposedly samsung already showed off the galaxy s during a private event so only to a few people uh at ces this year but according to reports the rest of us will see it towards like the very end of 2018 or most likely 2019. And when it does release, according to reports, the phone will cost as much as 2 million won, which for us here in the US converts to about, wait for it, $1,800. That's $1,850 to be exact. Now listen, nobody should be surprised. Nobody should be shocked here that when this phone comes out, it's going to cost the same amount as my unborn child. 
To me, this was never supposed to be a phone for average consumers. This is another one of those things that Samsung is doing and putting out there that's just, hey, look what we can do. Well, look at technology. It's cool, huh? We can make this thing. Is it going to be cool? Yes, but I have questions on how practical this phone is going to be. I've said that since day one, since we've heard these rumors, I've questioned the practicality for, of this phone for average consumers, and I'm going to stick with that until we finally see it. So this is going to be one of those things where Samsung's just like, hey, technology's cool, look what we can do. If you want it, you can buy it, but it's going to be a lot of money. What do you guys think? Are you are you going to buy one of these things? And that is the show. Hopefully you liked it. You learned something. If you did, hit that like button. If you hate my stupid face, hit the dislike button uh, and subscribe if you, if you want to. I wouldn't want to. I'll see the rest of you tomorrow.